Retrospective Record in Pro Tools 2018 allows us to capture that perfect MIDI performance even when we're not recording. So what we have right now, some drums here, and like you would do is you would, of course, probably want to add to that, so we already have some strings here. And what you would usually do is you would, of course, play back, right, and work on your performance. So we have this track record enabled because we don't have like a default, uh, you know, MIDI through instrument. So record enable your track. We don't have to record down here. So let's just play back and work on our performance. Okay, let's just stop. And boy, we say that was such a good performance there. I wish I had that. Now I have to come down here and of course record that. Well, actually in Pro Tools 2018, you don't because we have that retrospective record. So to use that, come up here to event and retrospective record. The shortcut for that is Alt Shift Z on Windows or Option Shift Z on Mac. So for now, we'll just choose retrospective record and bada bang, man. There is that data spotted exactly where we played it. Let's come up here a bit. And that's really all there is to it, but there is more we can do. If I don't have MIDI merge on here, let's just come back and again, record and enable that track. We're not gonna record, we're just gonna play back here. MIDI merge is not on right now. Let's add some more notes. Now to stop, and we'll do Alt Shift Z in this case, and that actually erased uh, some of that data there. All right. Now, if on the other hand, Control Z, I have MIDI merge on, we'll just leave everything as we have it here and play back, and now we'll actually add notes to this clip. Long enough for our purposes. Alt Shift Z and bada bing, all of those notes were merged in. Pretty cool. Now, down here I have a synth, which we're using Strobe 2, and all of this will work with any VI that you have, not just uh, synths or contact. Work with anything, drums, so on and so forth. Also, it will work with your MIDI tracks, of course. All right. So, what if we wanted to uh, let me actually get rid of this for now. We can switch the active track while we are playing back with our instrument tracks here or our MIDI tracks. So let's say we want to start with strings and we're going to switch over to synth or something. Let's go ahead and play back. So long enough there. I'll just switch to the synth. All right. I'll stop playback, Alt Shift Z, and there you go. All of that data is on one track, plus we have this down here on this track. Pretty cool stuff, right? Now, what if, uh, let's get rid of this one. What if, let's just uh, have this one record enabled, just our synth, and we're just gonna play back. Now I can hit Alt Shift Z while we're playing back, and there's that data, but I'm not done. Hit Alt Shift Z again and more data. Alt Shift Z, more data. Hopefully you get the uh, point of that. Now this doesn't sound that great, but it doesn't have to for our purposes. We're just showing uh, what happens. So that is the basics there of your uh, retrospective record. Now what if, uh, what if I had more than one track record enabled? Now there's no VIs on these tracks, there uh, doesn't need to be. We'll just solo them, just so we're not hearing anything, because this will prove the point uh, just fine. We'll just play back. Now I'm just gonna start, uh, you know, hitting some notes. Doesn't matter what I hit. Stop that, Alt, Shift, Z, and there you go, that's what happens. Now it doesn't really make that much sense to do it this way, uh, unless you just have two different VIs on tracks that you wanna play at the same time, because of course here in Pro Tools, all I need to do is hold down Alt, make a copy, and then I can drag that wherever I want. But that's what uh, happens in that case. You're just working out your performance, right? But you end up playing something that you want to keep 
Well, with Pro Tools 2018, you don't have to redo work that was already perfect. Just come up here, Event and Retrospective Record, or use Alt Shift Z as your shortcut. That's Option Shift Z on Mac.